Hi guys, this is Jane once again and welcome back to my channel. Are you in the mood to smell delicious? Today we're talking about the Sol de Janeiro Buddy Mists. All four of them this time. I've featured their latest release, Cherosa 40, about a month ago. If you want to see an in-depth review of that, I will leave a link in this video. The Sol de Janeiro Buddy Mists are known to be delicious gourmand scents. Cherosa simply means to smell absolutely delicious and irresistible. So if you want to smell delicious, grab one of these. The upside to this being body mist is that they are light and wearable for warmer days. The downside is of course shorter life of the fragrance. Expect under 3-4 to four hours of life. They do recommend to layer with accompanying body products their famous Boom Boom Cream for one to prolong the life of this scent. You don't need to own all four of them, but I would have to say that because a 90ml bottle costs 19 US dollars, it's good value to me considering how great projectors this all are. So this all gives you holiday tropical vacation vibes. Not for everyday wear, not for the office, unless you work in a resort. Great for cozy weekends at home, great for brunch dates or casual evening out when you want to simply smell irresistible. This do smell very youthful, maybe even juvenile, but I would think that women of all ages can rock this in appropriate context, for example, on vacations or on holidays. But that's entirely my opinion. We're totally free to wear what we feel like wearing whenever we want to. Okay, enough of the blabbering. Now let's get to ranking. I actually like them all and this is coming from a person who's fairly new to gourmands but if I were to rank them at the number 4 spot is the green bottle Cherosa 39 also called uh, Coco Cabana Cherosa 39 so this is your coconut cream warm vanilla tropical orchid sandalwood and praline so this to me smells like a local dessert called makapuno it's essentially coconut candy it's a local delicacy made out of coconut milk sugar vanilla wrapped in clear colorful plastic so be showing you a picture of that so i love those candies they're soft a chewy melts in your mouth kind of dessert for some of you this may remind you of uh, Raffaello, a classier, more chocolatey version of our local Makapuno. So this one is my number four because I am not too crazy about coconut scents in general. And this isn't something I will probably grab because I own the others. I want to smell more like the other fragrances in this line. So this also projects the least and doesn't have too much of a wow factor to me. So this is for the gourmand coconut lover, Coco Cabana Cherosa 39. At the number three spot is Cherosa 71. So this is the sweetest and the most decadent smelling of them all. So this has notes of caramelized vanilla, sea salt, toasted macadamia, white chocolate, tonka, and coconut blossom so on initial spray i was immediately reminded of a local dessert called leche flan our local version of creme caramel custard essentially made of eggs sugar milk topped with burnt clear vanilla caramel syrup so that is a very delicious mouth watering dessert and there is no other way to describe Cherosa 71. So this smells like food the most. That burnt sugar smell is what welcomes you on initial spray. To me, this smells like Christmas more than a summer holiday. We usually serve leche flan during feasts and growing up, it's a Christmas staple for our family. So uh, this perfume is thick and heavy, more suitable for cooler days, uh, summer nights, and colder weather in general in my opinion. I can imagine this to be a little too heavy for daytime wear on a particularly hot day. So this is my number three because of the more limited occasions I can wear this around here. So this projects like crazy though, especially in the first 30 minutes. You can really, really smell this perfume. I sprayed this on one end of the room and I can smell this a few meters away. So if you are into thicker, more decadent gourmand scents, this may be for you. Brazilian Crush 71. Brazilian Crush Cherosa 62, the original, landed the number two spot. Because I simply like the number one better, that's just the reason why. So scent-wise, this is very, very similar to 
Cherosa 71. Uh, but this is a more daytime appropriate uh, scent than uh, Cherosa 71. So this is notes of almond, uh, pistachio, heliotrope, jasmine petals, um, vanilla, salted caramel, and sandalwood. So this has a very delicious and nutty opening. Almost immediately though, a creamy vanilla caramel scent takes the composition over. Surprisingly, it's not too overly sweet to me. It's just done right. Imagine pistachio vanilla ice cream drizzled with salted caramel syrup with almond bits on top. That's my image of this scent. So there is a freshness about this and um, sort of a solar quality too. It's warm yet fresh at the same time. I would totally wear this during the day on chill weekends out, not necessarily the beach. So this is very casual, chill, and laid back smelling. So this fragrance has an Eau de Parfum version. This one called um, Sol Cherosa 62. Eau de Parfum, so I happen to have it here in a carded sample. So just in case you are wondering which to get uh, between the two, um, I'd say save your money and go for the body mist. The only difference I can honestly think of is the packaging. They smell and perform the same. In fact, to me, the mists has better projection and a bigger sillage. For a quarter of the price, you get better value from the body mist so if you love your nutty vanilla scents so this may be your holy grail um, gourmand cherosa 62 and finally on the number one spot is the pink bottle uh, brazilian crust cherosa 40. so uh, this is my number one because this is the most wearable of the four the least gourmand and the most versatile and i think I can get away wearing this day-to-day -day even to the office. So discredit the notes of black umber plum, cassis, jasmine, uh, Brazilian orchid, vanilla woods, and musk. So this is your fruity gourmand. And like the others in this line, this smells more perfumey rather than food-like to me. I can't think of any food or dessert that resembles this scent. This still smells very delicious and that plum, cassis, vanilla combination is pure perfection. You can easily grab this for a casual day out, for errands, for a grocery run, also as an evening after shower scent or as a bedtime scent. Um, this is a warm, comforting feel to it. I'm guessing it's the plum, the cassis, and the musky dry down. If you're familiar with Dark Kiss from Bath and Body Works, this gives off a very similar vibe. They don't smell identical, but I get the same feel. This to me, though, smells more comforting than Dark Kiss. And out of all the four, Cherosa 40 is, I should say, more my personality. So for the fruity gourmand lover out there, Check this one out, Cherosa 40 might be for you. Alright you guys, which Cherosa are you? Drop me a comment down below if you've tried any from this line. We do not have a local retailer of Sol de Janeiro at the moment, but I will leave a link to where I got mine. Cherosa 40 I got from a local IG store and the other three are from Sephora US website. I got them during their last VIB sale. Shout out to my friend Anne Christine who lives in Washington State who was very who very kindly sent them over from the US along with other fragrances. So I hold a couple of fragrances from Sephora. <laughs> so Sephora PH unfortunately doesn't carry Sol de Janeiro just yet. So if you happen to be watching Sephora PH, please, please make this brand available to us here in the Philippines. So for our friends in the Northern Hemisphere, I hope you guys are enjoying your summer. Around here, it's officially monsoon season. We have a lot of cool, rainy, sometimes very windy days recently. So, I hope you liked this video guys and I found it useful to decide on which Sol de Janeiro body mist to get next. Please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're very, very close to 500 lovely subscribers. Thank you all for your support. Take care and see you in my next video. Bye!